Hey you guys, you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and I am your Friday vlogger, Leanna. Um, first, I know there was a comment last week about my personal channel and uh, my personal channel is Stars Dark Side 21 um, spelled exactly how it said, Stars Dark Side 21. No spaces all together. Um, but that's my personal channel. Um, so this week's topic, let me just get right into it. Uh, fashion slash clothes post weight loss surgery. Oh, uh, I'm just going to go question by question, I think. Um, well, I'll, let me just read the questions real quick. Uh, what was your clothes shopping strategy while losing weight? Did shopping become a cross addiction behavior for you? Uh, how has your fashion choices changed since weight loss surgery? If you would have... If you had $300, where would you go buy clothes today and what would you buy with that money and why? So first let me just give you a little bit of background. Um, I want to say I was a chunky child all throughout my childhood. Um, and, um, you know, I want to say at the age of like 16, I had a job. And, um, I started out working at an ice cream shop. Oh my gosh. Um, I love ice cream and you could eat as much ice cream and as much chocolate as you wanted while you were working. Let me tell you, my work apron always had chocolates in it. Um, and they had made like these little taffy. Oh, so good. Um, so anyways, um, started to gain some weight, right? And so one summer, the summer going into my senior year of high school, I decided to get a personal trainer and, um, I worked really hard and, um, I got down to like the smallest I had ever been and I never went clothes shopping and I really wish I did. Um, I think I bought like one pair of, um, jeans. I think they were like lucky jeans or something. And, um, I want to say they were like a 29 or something, which is equivalent to, I believe a size eight. Um, cause I know, I think a 29, no, I think a 30 is a size 10. So maybe it's a 29 because right now I'm wearing I think 26 and I think those are a two. Um, their their sizings are a bit off. Um so anyways I wanna say I probably was like a size eight, ten, but I never really went clothes shopping. So um pretty much throughout my whole high school it was like a size twelve. So um yeah it was pretty much a size twelve. Size twelve was like the smallest kind of, um, pants I really ever owned. And then once school started, I stopped working out, um, job, yada, yada, yada. Um, after high school, I pretty much gained a bunch of, I gained weight. So needless to say in my closet, I had from like a size 12 to, um, I think I got all the way up to an 18. Um, I actually remember at one point buying a pair of size 22 dress pants at one point. And then, um, I really started to get into fitness and I was a fat fit person, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, so I could never get my eating under control. So I could always work out and do that, but I just never, um, got my food and my portions and I would, you know, one diet and then another diet. And so, um, I could never just get my food, um, on track. So needless to say, um, I constantly, if I needed to go up in size, it's like I would buy like one staple item. So, um, you know, I went, like I said, from like a 12 to like a size 18 and, um, I would have like two or three, um, you know, like work pants and you know, like sometimes like say you're like a size 16 or whatever, even if you gain weight, it's like those 16s or whatever will stretch and stretch and kind of like stretch with you. 
until you like go out and like actually physically like buy new clothes and then it's like you're up in a size. Yes, I'm making a video. Well, okay, no, the water went cold on the settings. Well, I don't know. Oh, the, um, the washer's on. Hold on. Okay, so like I was saying, um, you know, but you know how like you go and like, um, it's like you're one size and then you go actually like shopping for it and then you go shopping and you're actually like a size bigger and you're like, but my ones at home fit and I think it's just because they like stretch out so much that um, they become the next size I don't know um, that always like seemed to be like the case for me so anyways um, so then when I started losing weight I kind of had um, a lot of sizes in my closet I had 12 to 18 in my closet so um, you know, what was your clothes shopping strategy while losing weight? Um, my main part was my closet. Um, I pretty much, every time I went down in, in a size, I, um, I had the pants in my closet because I had clothes from probably over 10 years and, you know, it had been like 10 years since I was in high school pretty much that, um, you know, I had these clothes. And so, um, all the way till I got down to a size, you know, 12, I had in my closet. Then when I went like smaller, um, I always look at sales, clearance, um, you know, I do a lot of that kind of shopping and when I would buy my pants or whatever, I would buy them to where they were a little snug. So, um, that way when I lost the weight, um, they lasted me a little bit longer because they were super tight to begin with, right? So, um, that was kind of, you know, how I shopped for clothes. And then, um, you know, when I got down, I got all the way down, like I'm a size 2, 4, um, occasionally a 6, um, right now because I got a little extra poundage sticking to my booty, but, um you know a couple sizes will will fit you so even if it's a little big you know it's not the end of the world so I would just wait till things were either were super super baggy then I would go and um, buy something that was extra snug so that it just lasted me a little bit longer um, did shopping become a cross addiction um, not really I've always enjoyed shopping so um, I think there was just I had kind of stopped shopping when I got to a certain point because um, shopping just was not fun anymore, you know, when you're at a bigger size. So I always kind of avoided it. So now I just like to shop more often. Um, how has fashion choices changed since weight loss surgery? Um, I wouldn't say my fashion choices changed until... Um, having my tummy tuck and breast augmentation. Uh, you know, I'm able to wear a one piece dress and not feel like I've got lumpage going on there, you know? And, um, and so I'm able to wear like high waisted skirts or high waisted pants because, um, I don't feel like I look like I'm, you know, pregnant or something. So I would say, um, ultimately there is no limit with um, a style that I can wear now post reconstructive surgery. Um, I think, I guess, you know, at the, at the very end, um, I did have a pair of stretchy shorts, but, um, you know, I'm able to wear what I want to wear now, I guess. Um, if I had $300, where would you go buy clothes? I don't know, I really kind of like to shop anywhere and everywhere. Um, I love me a pair of Miss Me jeans. Um, just bought a pair today, I'm so excited. Um, so, you know, I might venture on that way. Or I like Ross, 
Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, love to go to the outlets and do a lot of outlet shopping. Um, just kind of don't really have anywhere in particular. Um, I like to shop anywhere and everywhere. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if I have time, I'm going to try to maybe insert some pictures of my style or, you know, um, different outfits of the day. So, all right, you guys, I will talk to you next week. Bye.